Environmental and life safety issues cover a wide range of making sure that your facility can support the business operation that it's supposed to. One of the first considerations is power considerations. Now we're not going to the life safety issues quite yet, so as far as environmental issues go, power considerations is very, very important. You have to consider your power requirements. What kind of equipment are you running? Are you just running a bunch of client PCs that can run off 110? Or do you have some higher power requirements? Are you running commercial grade air conditioning systems on the top of your warehouse? Clearly you're going to need more power than just running individual client PCs. In addition, what happens if that power is interrupted? Or in the worst case, what happens if the power is interrupted because you failed to consider your power requirements? Yeah, that actually happened. I was working with an organization who distributes athletic wear. Their main distribution center was in Memphis, Tennessee. I was looking at one area of their system which had nothing to do with planning or power considerations. And it turned out that they were bringing their new air conditioning systems up. They had eight brand new commercial grade air conditioning systems that sat on top of their warehouses. They had it all wired. They had engineers on staff to make sure that everything was done correctly. First day when they turned the power on, it blew up the transformer and fried every inch of electrical wiring in the entire plant. They were down. And their power recommendations or their power requirements were not accurate. So they had to figure out how to conduct their business with no power. And it was tough. They offloaded a lot of their business to sister organizations. But they lost a lot of money on that one. So you need to ask yourself, what happens if my power is interrupted for more than just a few minutes? Many solutions involve a UPS, which is an uninterruptible power supply. If you use UPSs, the question is what capacity UPS is needed. You need to answer questions such as how much power will you be drawing and how long will you need the UPS to supply power in a power outage situation. That can dramatically change the type of UPS that you need. Do you only want to protect yourself from a brownout, which is just a drop in voltage? Or do you want to protect yourself from a blackout, which is a total absence of voltage? If so, how long do you want to be able to support the blackout? So lots of questions. And what devices do you want to provide power for? It's a lot easier to provide power for one client PC than for 10 client PCs. So you answer these questions and you'll start coming to an understanding of what power considerations you have.